you need to do for your skin for the products to work on the skin that is why a lot of time people will pick a product up and they will be like oh this don't work for me why it don't work for you because you really don't know how to use the product on the skin you got to prepare that skin you got to prep that skin and not only that you also need circulation and that is why we press on and we talk all this talk about massaging the skin so continue to watch the show and i'm sure at the end of the show you might learn a thing or two that is going to help to get rid of those wrinkles on the skin welcome to the live show if you're new here go ahead and leave a comment and if you are an og go ahead keep your thoughts you know keep it keep your thoughts about the opening of the show and then um yes i still will have to i will have to say it. all right so karen good evening chichi what do you have okay here is one what do you have for forehead dark spot and under eyes a dark spot so under eye dark spot i'm assuming it's under eye um wrinkles and we have a wide variety of things however for severe dark under eye circles i would recommend our caffeine eye cream the next one in line to this for severe dark under eye circle which is a truly anti-aging eye cream is our is our supreme age renewal eye cream so these two is good for your under eyes however if you get your eye cream at home you really need to cleanse the area around the eyes for the cream to work better under the eyes not only that we talk about massaging the face but we also expect you to massage your under eyes and we have many videos on our channel page that will show you but we'll briefly talk about it in in a bit so for the under eyes we suggest the eye creams. Not only that, we have some eye patches that we encourage you to use. And this one here is our black gold eye patches that we have in this amazing serum that you can use under your eyes. However, we expect you to clean that under eyes before you use these to get the best results. So let me answer that question really, really quick. For your dark under eyes, circles, eye bags, puffy eyes, you name it, the best thing to do is to make sure your under eyes is clean. Especially if you're out there and you wear makeup, this area, you got to spend that extra five minutes to clean all of that. And we encourage you to get like a wash rod when you go and you wash your face. A lot of times people think, okay, they wash their face, but you really don't wash the area around your eyes. For your eye cream to work, your eye serum, your eye patches, you really need to wash that. And the easy way to do it is to get yourself a wash rod and make sure you go all the way under there like that, windshield wiper, top and bottom, top and bottom and wash your under eyes really well and then don't have everlasting pressure now lightly that's why we say windshield wiper you're not pressing and rubbing and tugging no you're not doing that and this slowly 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 will clean that under eyes and then when you apply your cream under your eyes we expect you to do that kind of a top in there because that is how you massage your under eyes help your cream to work better under the eyes so that is one way of getting rid of the dark spots dry under eyes and all of that now when it comes on to forehead you have forehead dark spot on the face we do have a dark spot corrector okay we do have a dark spot corrector however for your entire face neck and decollete we have the turmeric skincare line skincare products that can help to lighten if you want to spot treat those spots on your forehead you can use our dark spot corrector and once you use the dark spot corrector then you get your you know we weren't going to talk about it today so it's like i don't have it on my desk but anyway it is in a bottle like this one let's see if we have it no we don't have it but it's in a bottle bottle like this one and this is on our website and for those of you who are new here and you know nothing about our website our website is alexmaxi.com get any form of a dark spot corrector take a little of the dark spot corrector on clean skin okay make sure your skin is clean how what am i saying i wash my face every day why are you saying to make sure my skin is clean because just washing your face alone is not cleansing your skin 
cleansing your skin means that you put a little effort into it. You get your facial cleanser, you cleanse that skin, and then after that, you make sure to exfoliate that skin at least two to three times per week. And then that is what we're calling like really prepping the skin. And we also truly believe in steaming your face over here. You steam to open the pores. When the pores are open, you go in with your exfoliator or your facial polish and you polish that face and pot dry the face and then you're ready to spread that toner on. If you have a lot of hyperpigmentation on the skin, a good toner is like our vitamin C coconut water toner or our turmeric toner and you spritz it on the face. You let that toner dry and then you go in with your dark spot corrector. If you just have a few spots on the face, then you take that cream and you spot it where you have the spot on the face. If you have your entire face all over the face having hyperpigmentation, we would suggest that you use our turmeric set and you use this also the dark spot corrector all over your face. So that is how you get rid of the dark spots on your skin. Now this is not magic and this is not going to happen the very night that you use the dark spot corrector on the face. You're going to have to let the product get time to work on the skin. It needs at least six weeks to say something is not working. So for instance, if you buy the Chichi Beauty skincare products and you use them for a week and nothing happened, you cannot come back and be like, oh, I use a product for a week and nothing happened. When it comes down to skincare, you got to give the product six weeks to work. However, most time you get a product, it's gonna, a good product is gonna work way before the six week. But if you have to comment or make a bad comment, you shouldn't make the comment before six week because it needs six week. In the skincare world, it's six week before our products work on the skin. But applying products on the skin is not all to skincare. As a matter of fact, it is just a, just a little 30% towards getting your skin to look good. The grassroots to get your skin to look good is how you really take care of it and the time that you spend taking care of it. It means that you got to be dedicated and that is why when you come on places like YouTube, you're seeing a lot of skincare routine. What are those skincare routine all about? Skincare routine is a routine that you make for yourself that you need to follow a.m. and p.m. to get the best result. So if you're looking at my skin right now and you'll be like, oh, I would like my skin to be like yours, it means that you got to try to get a skincare routine going because nothing is easy. Not everyone can just do nothing at all to their skin and it look amazing. Unless you're like in your teenage, like, you know, in your, you know, you're, you're in your 19, 20, you know, somewhere there, 15 and all of that where your skin is all amazing and better yet said than done because most people when they get to puberty by the time they get there then the acne start to happen the bumps start to come up and all kind of things start to go on on the skin so i would say you have really nice skin between the age of birth and nine somewhere there because some people go to puberty very early. So you have amazing looking skin between the age of birth to about nine years old. And then by the time you touch nine, going up into 12, things start to change, you know. And then that's when you start to get into skincare products because then you have to have all this acne to deal with, all this amazing, 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 amazing. I'm saying amazing because, you know, oil and grease and all of that going on on the skin. So that's when you start to get yourself into skincare. And then after you get over that phase, then what happened? There now you're going to start to look out for the wrinkles that is going to form, the sagging skin, the loss of collagen and elastin in the skin. And then you need to put all of that back. And then we're at the stage then where you're fighting to keep your looks. You're fighting to prevent the wrinkles. You're fighting to prevent the falling, the, the face just looking agars. You're fighting for all of that. And also you are fighting for younger appearance to the skin and if you didn't fight and you find that you have wrinkles and fine lines you might wake up one day and be like oh my goodness i look really old for my age what can i do to to stop this in the track and then you're starting to look for products that's going to get rid of the wrinkles products that's going to get rid of the sagging skin the sagging jawline the hyperpigmentation the dark on the eye circles and all of that so it goes in a circle 
Like it just goes, it's never end, it's never end, never end. And you shouldn't let it end because you shouldn't give up on yourself. You know, it doesn't matter what age you are. As I said earlier, we can look good for our age. So if you're 50, it's good to look 40. And if you're 70, it's good to look at least 60. And if you're 90, it's good to look at least 80. That is what we're talking about, how to look good for your age. So clear dark spot from your forehead, clear dark spot from anywhere from your face, your neck, and your decollete. If you have a question for us, comment. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. If you're new here, comment, comment, comment. Amina, hi. Brooklyn, New York. So, um, Cynthia at Amina. Okay, so um, I don't know what the chat is going on. So, uh, okay, so I, I'm trying to read, skim through, don't know, but Amina is in St. Martin. And uh, um, this is me eavesdropping in people conversation on the chat. And Cynthia is in Brooklyn, New York. As a matter of fact, I could walk to Cynthia House and a good day. <laughs> Never passed, Cindy. I've never tried, but I know I could go out to your house in a um in a good sunny day. Good sunny day. That is the sun is not too hot. So Cynthia is not really far from we're in the same area. Jackie Mom, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lana is also here. Who else is here? New. If you're new here, comment. Um Claudia, I have braces and glasses instead. Ooh, and um, oh, so at that age, you have braces and glasses. So, oh my goodness. Um, when I was younger, I didn't like to see people with braces. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let me not go there. We're talking about skincare. We're talking about skincare. I would love to see some of you all picture at a, at a young age. If you're new, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. This is where we chit chat with you all. We take your question. And today we are doing just that. I'm um, going backwards to see if there's any comment that I miss. And this one is from um, Nearly. Can wash my face with facial washer, turmeric toner, vitamin C, and then the turmeric mask. Okay, so can I wash my face with the facial wash? Yes. So this is what happened. You wash your face with the facial wash. Once your face is clean, then you're going to take that toner, which is the turmeric toner, because that's what you have. So you can use the turmeric toner. You can use a blueberry toner for those of you who do not have a toner. We have a wide variety of toner on our website. And for those of you who do not know our website, it is alexmaxi.com. I'll put it up as soon as I finish what I'm um, reading um, nearly comments. So you wash your face with the facial wash. We have several different types on our website. We have the turmeric, which this is great for dark spot any form of hyperpigmentation on the skin. We also have the foam cleanser, and we also have um, this one here. If you have only one cleanser and you don't have any exfoliator, you can also use this one, which is the exfoliating cleanser. And we also have our Super Supreme Cleanser, and this is the Super Supreme Cleanser that you can use to cleanse the skin. So nearly wash your face with the cleanser, and then she's gonna use a toner. Now she have the turmeric toner and we have others like the blueberry, the green tea. We also have the fresh rose and we have the vitamin C. So any one of the toner that you have after you wash your face, you're going to apply the toner. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to apply the serum just like she's doing here. She's applying the serum and she's applying her vitamin C serum and that is good. And then the turmeric mask every night. Now, this is where we stop her right here. This is where we stop her right here. Now, nearly is trying to use our turmeric mask on her skin. Now, if you know anything about our turmeric mask, you would have known that it really have to clear hyperpigmentation on the skin. However, our turmeric mask can be used as a nighttime facial mask, but not every night. We do not want it to use, and this is the turmeric mask she's talking about. And I know why she's saying that because I have been receiving a lot of comments ever since we came on and we talk about this mask that you can use it on your face as an overnight mask. What we're getting in the emails are the, is that people are using this mask on their skin, waking up with bright glowing skin. Even though it's a facial mask, 
we encourage you to use our turmeric facial moisturizer at night but people have been doing this because they're seeing results and that is the truth however if you're using this as an overnight mask what i encourage you to do wash your face spread the toner on you don't need to do the serum go ahead and use the mask on the skin apply a very very thin layer on the mask we do not want you to use an overnight mask every night we just want you to use it probably once per week however as i said we're receiving the email that, oh my goodness i used your mask as an overnight mask and voila i woke up my skin was this that that that's gone 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 we don't come on here and we do not preach that we're getting those kind of a comment from the turmeric line we do not preach it because you know we don't want to come on and then someone else is going to use it and then they're like oh but you say do that and they didn't so we don't do that so we keep some of those comments to ourselves so you take the mask and that is what happened when you rub this mask and take a look it's a mask it's a turmeric mask but because it's so soft when you apply it on the skin it disappears on the skin and people are getting a knack of that and they are using it as almost like a moisturizer at night because they like the way that their skin look in the morning. And that is why there is the layering, like what Neil is saying, this is what they're doing. But the honest truth is this is a mask and you need to use it two to three times per week as a regular mask where you apply a thick layer on the skin. And if you missed the show yesterday, guys, you can go back and look at, we do a full show talking about, you know, how to apply the mask on the skin. So you use the mask as, um, as a regular mask, you pack it on your face, you let it dry for 30 minutes and then you rinse off. Now, if you want to use it as an overnight mask, you wash your face, you spread a little toner on and you take a bit of the mask and you apply it on the face. You apply it on the face, you sleep with it, you rinse it off in the morning. We only expect you to do that at the most is twice per week. But this is what is happening. And take a look at my skin right here. You see nothing, okay? You see nothing. And the honest truth, I didn't even know that until people are, you know, commenting and sending emails that this is what is going on. And this mask has been changing a lot of people's skin. Now, I'm here to tell you that this is turmeric that we put in this mask, okay? The base of these masks, for instance, this is the green tea mask. So let me share it because you're going to see it out there. And as soon as we put the comments up, you're going to see that people are saying that. Now, these are two different masks. We have turmeric in this and we have green tea. However, the base is the same base. We just had turmeric to this and then we had a green tea to this. However, these are the two masks that people are talking going all google about so what they're doing is using both of these masks as an overnight mask nothing is wrong with that i did suggest to use it but not every night one or twice per week as an overnight mask you definitely can now let me show you something what is happening with these masks and i am going to do a full circle here so my face is clean and i'm going to call that my face and then i'm going to grab some turmeric and this is my turmeric toner and i'm going to spritz it on my face right here i'm just going to show something really quick guys so i spread the toner on my face right there and you know i'm not supposed to rub it in i just want it to go really really quick so that is the toner on my face and i'm just going to come in and i'm going to take a little bit of a serum because that's how you lay a product on the skin so i'm just going to put one drop of my and that is my hyaluronic acid you can use a turmeric serum, which we have, or you can use any of the serum. So now I have the turmeric serum on my skin, the toner, the turmeric serum. Now, what else is going to be there? Then they go on to using the turmeric mask. So I'm going to grab just a little of the turmeric mask, and I'm going to put it right here. Look what happened when I apply the turmeric mask with the toner, with the serum, and everything, and you apply a little it disappear on the skin. People are taking a note of that and that's why they're sleeping in this turmeric mask because it goes on the skin if you use just a little on the skin, almost like you're using a moisturizer on the skin. And when they wake up in the morning, the skin is feeling tight, 
the skin is looking bright and it's giving that glow to the skin. We're not saying that it's going to happen to everyone's skin, but so far that is what is going on out there. The same with the green tea mask. And I'm just going to take a little of the green tea mask and I'm going to put it on my hands right there, just a little over the turmeric mask and i'm just gonna massage it in the skin and it just disappear on the skin like that leave the skin nice and when you sleep with it you wake up the skin is tight and bright and really looking younger and firmer so that is what nearly is talking about but two to three times a week you know but if you're doing it and you're enjoying it and your skin is looking mighty fine nothing is gonna happen Nothing is going to happen. It don't mean that because you use a mask on your skin every night, your skin is going to fall apart or whatever. If it works for you, then that's fine. Go ahead and do it. But recommended to use the mask at least two to three times a week as a mask. And if you use it on the skin as a regular mask, you put a little extra and you're supposed to have this form of a thickness on the skin, this form of a thickness. So use those masks however you feel like using them once you're seeing results on the skin. And the honest truth is they are just amazing. But you got to try. Just amazing. Just amazing. All right. So let's move on. And if you are interested in getting any of our masks, you can find them. And we put a lot of love in these masks, guys. We do put a lot of love in them. And that is why people are getting these kind of amazing results, even though we're not coming on and we're not saying, oh, yes, you do that. We just want you to discover these products for yourself. So we have the green tea. We have the carrot. We also have the bamboo charcoal. The bamboo charcoal is a mud mask. We also have the turmeric, which is clay. Turmeric is clay. Carrot is clay. Green tea is clay. And uh, we also have the avocado, which is a mud mask. So we have, I think I probably missed one. Oh, and we also have the pink rose, which is this one which is a clay mask, okay? So you can check out our website and you can try one and try the overnight mask. Look at this one that I did. You can see nothing is happening. There's, you're not even seeing like anything is drying. So if it's working for you, the lifting, tightening and firming and drying out impurity from the skin, go ahead and use it on the skin. If you're new here, comment, comment. And let me see, hi, Georgia, welcome. Here is Titi. Chichi, I use the turmeric mask as an overnight mask. See what I'm talking about? As an overnight mask. My face be so soft the next day, um, the next morning, and the dark areas on my face and neck have improved. So this is what I'm talking about, and this is why I find that we're getting all these emails about using the turmeric mask as an overnight mask. I did come on the show. I did mention it because we make it so that it could happen, but I didn't know that we were going to get that kind of a response um, to it, that it is really, really clearing up the skin like that. And when I say we get in response, we're getting response not only from our subscribers that are watching, but from everyone else that is buying this turmeric mask. And we're very, very happy for that, uh, that comment. Now, um, if you're new here, comment. Do you have kit for the body, body scrub, body lotion, and soap, or body wash just like your life? And that is the next question that we tend to be getting a lot. But we're proud to tell you that we do have a set of um, shower gel that is coming your way. And we should be getting them pretty, pretty soon. And I can't wait to share them with you. They are, yeah, so we have the shower gel coming. And very soon, we'll definitely have um, a body scrub. That is going to be the next in line. So a shower gel and a body scrub. And I would say the body splash. But just so you all know, people are using our coconut water toners as body splash. Now, hear me out, guys. Hear me out now. This is a facial toner, okay? And I'm going to be really, really honest with you all. This is a facial toner. And we have a line of coconut water toner. Now, someone came about and talked about, oh, using the, co the, 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 the coconut water um, toners as body splash. Now, I went and I tried, okay, because I didn't try it before. I went and I tried, and I was like, this is like the best thing ever, okay? It's like the best thing ever because, you know, it's good for the face, but when you spritz it on the body and... Let me let me let me just give you a little a little insight on something right now, okay? This time of the year is really really warm. 
it's really really warm and take a look at what we have right this is it right here this is aloe vera gel right so now we have the the green which is our regular aloe vera gel we just changed the bottle and it's the same amount that was in those round one we just changed the bottle the shape and now we also have the pink aloe vera gel i am here to tell you that with all these kind of sweating that is going on this is like now my new lotion okay that's my new lotion so i love this one for my body just i'm just saying i love all but i'm just saying okay and this is a facial toner for those of you who are new to our channel this is our coconut water facial toner it's just that i get an insight that people is using this on their body and i myself find that i am doing the same thing because when i spread it where 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 is it okay so let me do it right here so when i spread it on my hands like this right and it's cool it's really really cool so take a look what i'm doing these days and then i would grab this is anyone i use both whether it's the pink or the green aloe vera gel and this is what my skin feel cool that's like too much that i put there okay so I put much less than that and my skin is just a feeling good and in no time this dry on my skin and my skin feel fully hydrated and no grease at all so that is like what i am using now to cut down on this you know this eat you know if you are somewhere where you're going through summertime or you're going through that hotter time you know what i mean then I have no issue with you doing that because it's like my new best friend now for the summer where my skin is feeling cool non greasy not greasy at all this aloe is really keeping my skin good and the thing about it also when i put the aloe on my skin and even if i have to go outside i know that for some reason i get a little extra protection it's not a spf it's not a spf but all sunscreen do have some form of an aloe vera and if you have little old cheap old sunscreen take a little put a little other aloe vera gel in it and it makes a big difference so this is it on my skin and you can also put this aloe vera gel in the refrigerator so that is just what i'm saying but the honest truth is they're not body splash they are facial facial toners okay facial toners but if you buy something and you enjoy using it a certain kind of a way then why not and it's not a teeny tiny bottle of these these are like 5.5 ounces which is what you probably would get in a lot of um body splash out there so that's and the mask can just feel good like really really good so if you have not seen our aloe vera gel before you can get them now on our website guys they are 19 and 18 but if you buy both together it's just 34 dollars for both of these and they're 10 ounces they're not as tiny as the the bottle might look they're 10 ounces in this so that's the in for all of you out there that are looking for non-greasy skin especially and look at that it's just so cool that's what i like it make my skin feel cool how many of you have been trying that comment 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 oh titi that was a free commercial okay 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 all right so um my whole body is clean yes but that is true but that's the kind of a uh, email that we're getting about the turmeric and i'm trying not to be like oh yes i'm not coming on and be like yes 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 because i want people to discover it and this is the reaction that i wanted i want people to be saying it instead of me coming on and saying oh yes it do that it do that it do that now claudia body splash as someone is dating themselves <laughs> all right so we're just gonna leave that as is if you are new here go ahead and comment 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 and marcia georgia was thinking about you yesterday and there and there you are today and i kind of know why we um yeah i know why some um like yeah yesterday was a rough day for some of us some of our members and all of that and it just make you start to think about the others like now like for me that didn't um notice that um margaret was not on on the talk it's like it's not make me want to go search for everyone else like oh let me make sure this one is there let me make sure this one is there but that's what you get when you are family rose petal welcome to the live show if you're new here you have a question for us go ahead and comment comment and um if you have been hi locket 
Look who the cat dried in. Welcome to the live show. It is Sunday and we're just basically trying to have a good upbeat show today, okay? We're just trying to have a good upbeat show just, and I personally is just trying to enjoy myself with you all, to be honest. Like, um, I've been trying all day not to get emotional on this live show today, but yes, I am honestly and truly trying to enjoy myself with you all because, you know, you just never know. You just never know. Uh, Nikisha, Nikisha, let me hear what Nikisha is saying. I did not hear when in routine would I, oh, this is a good question. Where in your routine would you have the aloe vera gel? Would it go after the serum? So if you're going to use the aloe vera gel on your face. Now, what I was showing just now is me using this aloe vera gel all over my body because, you know, you can use the aloe vera gel as a cooling to the skin. So I use in this aloe vera all over my body with the fact that we do use the aloe vera gel to make a lot of moisturizer. So if you're going to use the aloe vera gel on your skin as a form of a moisturizer and you already have your cream, how I would use it on the skin, I would tip just a little tip. Okay, so here I have some retinol cream. So I would take a bit of the retinol cream. You don't have to do this, guys. And if I want to add extra aloe to it, I would just put one drop of the extra aloe and I would add it to the cream. And all our cream, you can do that with. You can add things to it to make it be more water-based. And that is it right there. So I just had it to the, the uh, um, retinol cream and I use it and it goes on and it just glides on on the skin like that adding a little extra aloe to the cream is making it more water-based and even better to use in the summertime but you really don't have to if you want to add the aloe to your face and you still use the cream you can do it like that or you mix the aloe with the serum so you'd use the aloe right there where you use the serum you use the toner add a little aloe add a little serum and then that's how you layer it on your face or you just mix it in now lock it i'm so happy it's summer i will be able to get my products yes yeah, summertime for some people is um all right, so here comes Maya, and someone is going to answer you on the chat, Maya. Someone is going to answer. Someone is going to answer you on the chat. So go, thank you, Magdalene, for doing that. And today we're really trying to have a really upbeat show. We're having it, and we I am just trying to do what I think um, she would want me to do at this time, but to have a great show and really to get in touch with you all and just feel you know like we used to be in the good old days where we are all one happy um family anyone here that has not yet tried our skincare line or if you're new here and you have a question for us anything that is going on on your face i mean dating as in age body flash is from the late 70s early 80s and actually it is from that time but believe it or not believe it or not the younger generation use more body splash than we do. The younger generation use more body splash than we do. I am a body splash person, okay? I've been using this since I was in my teen. But what I learned, and especially being in this kind of uh, environment, what I learned is that the younger generation get into perfume later they're all into body splash because some of them think that body splash is like using perfume okay so they're all into body splash and they buy the body splash they use more body splash than they would use perfume a lot of them look at perfume as if you're a little bit grown so they're waiting till they're they're like introducing themselves to perfume like when they're like 22 23 and so on and so forth so if you should go into some of these younger adult bathroom you would see like a full line of body splashes that's what they use and how do i know that because that's the business that i'm in and i could tell and even if you go around youtube and you watch a lot of like youtube videos with the younger generation you'll know that um they're into body splash and perfume is something that they think that you use 
when you are mature like you know when you sort of feel like you get your own place so you get your first perfume that is the thing but they definitely use a lot of body splash body splash is is not going anywhere but to me now it's more than it used to be and now you have a wide wider variety because back then there's only a few companies that normally have body splashes but now almost every company have some form of a of a body splash and it's nice to you wanting to know though most body splash that you're going to find out there is loaded with alcohol most body splash that you're going to find out there is loaded with alcohol and that is because that is coming from estrogen age what is estrogen estrogen is a, a facial toner that you use on the skin to get rid of the last trace of dirt from the skin and there's a, a lot of confusion that goes on because some people still is calling an estrogen a toner after a while they try to differentiate it what is a facial toner the real truth is that a facial toner is something that you spritz on the skin and you do not rinse it off and it should not have alcohol what is an estrogen an estrogen is used to remove the last trace of dirt from the face that's why you put that estrogen on the cotton pad nowadays there are such a wide variety of people that is going into skincare and not taking the time to know what is what and that is why you're still going to see a person that is into skincare like manufacturing their own and all of that don't do the the study don't do the grassroots don't do the foundation and then they would come up with let's say like my fresh coconut water rose thorner and they would write on it and they would tell you to use it to remove the last trace of dirt from your face no that is because they don't do their own work a toner is supposed to have no form of alcohol unless it's natural alcohol what is natural alcohol natural alcohol is like if i take my green tea and i put it in a cup and i infuse and i let the green tea brew and i leave it there for a couple of days and all of that and it ferments you might find traces of alcohol in it chewing the ferment uh, ferment um stage or process and that is why sometimes you'll find products that people are saying is natural and you might see the word alcohol but look at the word that is in front of it to say what type of alcohol it is because it could be natural alcohol because there's different type of alcohol so a toner should not have any alcohol unless as i said it's a fermented process where you get natural alcohol from whatever you're using in the toner and the estrogen you put it on that cotton pad after you wash your face you rub it on it you toss it because it takes the last trace of dirt most people as i said there's so many people that is going into skincare products because anyone can have a skincare line anyone can have a skincare line it don't mean that you know the 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 ins and out are you really know the back side are the 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 ingredients and all of that thing that is you should know if you're having a skincare line so if i have a whole set of money i could just go start my own skincare line they say okay so get me a toner they get you a toner and what to put on the toner use it to wipe off your face and remove last trace of dirt because you don't know the difference between an estrogen and a toner and that is why when you come over here we try to make sure you're educated not only by knowing that oh you use a toner on your face but you also know the back side of things that when you go out there you can pick choose refuse because you know you are aware of what is what i use your star and his green tea toner all over my body and this is a good one this is one that we're trying to get into a, a bottle like this one that star and it's really give your skin that tightness that tightness to the skin it is such an amazing products to use on the skin and mixing it with something else like a green tea really top it up that's recipes going nowhere that recipe is going nowhere 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 we're trying to formulate it but you know believe it or not like our coconut water fresh rose coconut water toner our green tea coconut water toner you know this is where you find these things and i guarantee i'm just giving it at least within the next six months to a year 
you're going to see this everywhere because people are going to steal our recipes. To be honest, we know it's going to happen. They, they do it for all our DIY on our channel page. We know, we know it's going to happen, but always guys know that you come back right here because this is the foundation of these and people are going to start to copy these. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. For instance, take for instance, like our blueberry facial polish and we're getting our blueberry facial mask and we have the blueberry facial toner. You don't see it anywhere, but very soon you're going to see it everywhere. And sometimes I'm like, don't even want to post the, the ingredients to be honest, but I know I have to, I know I have to, I have to, but yes, they're, they're going to take it. But you know, we do our, our own work here. We do our own work here when we're bringing you these products to use on the skin because yours truly is using it also and want the best for myself. All right. If you have a question, guys, um, a body splash is less expensive. Yes. And that is that is it too. So if you want to use our toner as body splash, go ahead. There's no alcohol in it. You just rub it on the skin. It's like you're treating your skin. And the person that suggests it, um, I'm very glad they do because that's what I am doing for myself now. And it do feel good and it do makes a big difference. Remember earlier, I applied my aloe vera right there. I put... Um, the What did I put first? I think I put a toner and then I put the aloe vera. Look at my skin. It feel cool, it feel nice, and it's not greasy at all. So all of you that is watching, if you already have an aloe vera, use it. And if not, try these. And these are natural, guys. I'm telling you, I really went into a real big fight to make sure I get the right ingredients in these aloe vera jobs, right? I really, and, and hopefully I'll be making some videos sometimes later on in life, like to show you guys all the, the work that goes in to get in some of these and also to make sure that you're getting them um, natural, you know, like natural ingredients. But get one of these. As I said, this one is 19. This one is 18. Two of them together is $34 on the website. And there's a code floating around the code 10. You get 10% off. So try our aloe vera gel and use them on the skin. Don't just get them and only use them like, oh, when you're making some DIY or all of that. These are designed that you can use them all over your body. And it's also safe to use on your young, young, young adults. Okay. It's very safe to use on the young adults. So check it out. And we are promising you that we'll do the show to talk about the pink, you know, to let you know all that goes into the pink and what's the difference between the pink and the, and the, and the green, but they're aloe vera gel and they contain basically the same properties. Okay. All right. So if you're new here, comment, comment. It is, a, oh, where does the time go? All right, so since the time is almost up and we're just getting a little sun, a little peekaboo outside, this morning is one of those mornings that I I honestly wasn't feeling uh, myself because I'm still like, you know, thinking about, you know, how a little bad news um, last night and it's really um, take a toll on me. So anyway, here here's a little insight. So someone told me that... Um, you know what? Let me not talk about that. Let me not talk about it. I was going to talk a little butterfly story, but um, I'll not talk about that. So if you're interested in the Chichi Beauty skincare products, you can pick them up at alexmaxi.com. We have a wide variety of products. Grab yourself two aloe vera. Keep them in your refrigerator, okay? You don't have to, but I'm just telling you if you're using them the way I'm using them on my skin, keep them in the refrigerator. And we coming up with our shower gel i can't wait for you to try them and i gave these names and don't come at me when you hear the names that i um that i name the shower gel and i probably should have asked you all to help me to name those shower gel but i i am so into body i'm so i'm into face but i'm so into um just taking care of my body on a whole and i don't know if i preach to you all that one of my favorite time of the day is when I'm taking my shower. I love, and I like a good shower gel. I like to smell good. I just, you know, unwind. Like if I have a rough day, like, you know, after the whole episode um, last night and I go in that shower and I put the water on and I have that nice uh, fragrance that just really and truly just calm me down like that. So that is what I personally like for the shower. So I... Well, I'm going to hear from Jill. I'm going to hear from Jill. Um, 
However, 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 um, the name of these shower gel, when I was done with them, I was thinking that some of you are going to be like, mm, mm, what is the name of these shower gel? But I am going to tell you the name of the shower gel. So we're going to have um, fiery, fiery Secrets Petal. They are petal shower gels. That means when you get them, you're going to see some. As a matter of fact, I can't. Let me see if I could show the picture. Okay. I have the picture. Okay. So can you all see that? Those are the shower gels. So this is what is coming your way. Those are our shower gels that are coming. And let's see if you can see the name of these shower gels. So we have three amazing shower gels that is coming your way, all designed by yours truly, all named by yours truly. And you can see those little things inside them. Those are new technology, guys. Those are petals, okay? And that's why we call these the petal shower gel. And they're going to just melt on your skin. And the fragrance is, ooh, whoopsie. It's just really, really good. So we have seductive fantasy petal shower gel. We have blissful play shower gel. And we have fiery secret. So those are the shower gel. Don't come at me. Yes, I named them. But um, that's how the fragrance appeal to me there. You know, good for the whole family, even though I have those names on it. But when you get it at home, you're going to see why I gave them those amazing fancy names. But that's it. That's our shower gel that is coming. And take a look at the middle one. That is a, a blissful fantasy. And the N one right here is five. This 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 N one. No, this is blissful play right there. And the middle one is seductive fantasy. And the N one right here is fiery secret. Those are my personal shower gel. And I know, can't wait for for you all uh, to try these. Can't wait. And they're not tiny. They're five hundred ml. Five hundred ml. That means they are. The same amount that is in the shampoo and conditioner, which is 17.5 ounces. So they are a generous amount in one, but you're going to go through it fast because just like how Amina, Amina couldn't come out in the shower when she tried our, um, our black rice a shampoo and conditioner, it's going to be worse. Amina, start saving for your water bill. Start saving for your water bill because when you get the shower gel, you're, you're going to be singing, like dancing in the shower. But... Yes, they are coming your way, and I can't wait. Can't wait. I'm already using them, to be honest. I am already using them, so I know what I'm saying, and um, they're just that great. So, um, I mean, just by the name, I want them all, and I'm telling you, start saving for your your, your water bill. Start saving for your water bill because they're 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 just just as the name, just as the name. Now, like it, you're you got things going, Chichi Prada. You thank you so much. And thank you guys that, um, hi, Carol Tansen. What well, those are lovely names. Yes, yes. And when you get the shower gel, you're going to understand. When you get the shower gel, you're going to be able to identify the name of the shower gel with the fragrance. So you, you definitely will, 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 will get it. They look, okay. I mean, you see, that is what I'm saying. Some, Jill, where is Jill? Jill is not commenting on this show with Jill. You know, I was thinking about Jill, like, well, the only person who's probably going to come at me for this name is Jill. So, uh, oh, she's a beautiful and great name. Thank you so much, because that you're the only one I was worried about, Jill, that you're going to be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but anyway, they, they're coming your way um, pretty soon, pretty soon. It is a Sunday chit chat. And remember, support your girl by going on. Thank you, Roxanne going on um alexmaxi.com i didn't want to take up the show all way you know because i am actually doing this show in honor of um margaret for those of you who join late you know um, um, um maya uh, magdalene has already um you know you know said in the chat but last night we learned of the passing of um margaret and we were all devastated and i actually learned it on the chat right here and i was like you know, um, out of it. So, um, as I said, she has become a part of my family and all of that. So we, I tried to listen to her voice in my head and I know she would not have wanted me to come and have a, a boring show today. She didn't want me to just, you know what? 
it happened already get up and do what you have to do so that's what she would uh, um she would be saying to me so that's how i do the show i'm very emotional about it and everything but as i said i try to listen to how, how she would say and what you'd want and i do the show today all in honor of um yeah one of our ogs one of our ogs so um that's my time today guys thank you so much for watching sunday chit chat thank you for those of you who are always, always, always here. And uh, as I said, this really wake me up to make me um, know to pay more attention. Cause Margaret is the one that keep our online chat going, like really keep the online chat going. When no one else is commenting, she's, you know, making sure that, you know, the chat goes on along with, um, with Claudia. And, you know, everyone has to chip in. But as a real true OG, she was always here. and. Um, yeah 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 so keep her family in your prize and thought we don't know the the shipping code is 10 can you use code 10 yes you can use shipping and 10 yes those are the two codes that you can use for the weekend on our website alex maxi 10 all cap 10 all cap all cap and that is it that is the code for the weekend the code is 10 and um, I'm not sure if the shipping is still active because the shipping was for Saturday night. The shipping was for Saturday, but I just, um, uh, I think it is still active. If it is not active, then I'll go and check it out and I probably put it back on for the rest of the evening. Um, so thank you so much um, for coming. And as I said, um, I personally is reaching out to the family and um, we'll see, but um, yeah sleep on our sweet beloved thank you so much for watching have a great day go shop alexmaxi.com grab a toner grab an aloe vera gel grab something from the supreme share the link tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend we love you all and i'll see you tomorrow night in a live i'm gonna be on tomorrow in a live like you know doing our regular um our regular YouTube live shopping. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Sunday. Take care of yourself. You know, I always say this to you every time I'm signing off, especially when I'm signing off from the Sunday chat, I'm always telling you to take care of yourself. But I really want to tell you today to take care of yourself. Okay. Take care of yourself and don't wait until last minute if you think something is amiss. I mean, we don't know what happened, but I'm just saying. Just take care of you. Take care of you because I don't want to come on here be saying what I'm saying today for any of you. Take care of yourself. I love you all. Have a good week. Support, support while you're taking care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Don't forget to shop alexmaxi.com. Use the code 10 for this weekend. Share it with a friend. Share it with a family and share it on your website. Be good to yourself and I love you all. Bye-bye.